So, guess what? Earlier today, I received this um, package that I bought like uh, two days ago, which is on March 3rd. And this package is is from TNT um, Thun, uh, Thunder Match. So, I got... So, after months of waiting, I finally got my hands on my new um, GPU. So, I'm gonna open this um, package. So, just give me... And hopefully, they got the... Um, the model that the GPU that I wanted, so I'm just gonna open this thing up. Okay, so I did open the package. So let's reveal that package in three, two, one. So, ta -da! Okay, I think I have to. I'll just, I'll just show this damn thing over here. So you can yeah, you can't really see the. Because it's, it's really real well well okay so I think I just I just take my sweet time and um oh, and open it so give me a moment all right who's there so I just yeah uh, oh come on another pack another wrapping okay this will take a while but yeah 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 yes yeah, yeah. but can you can you guys see it Let's see you know what? I'll just I'll just, I'll just keep I'll just keep un unwrapping this stuff. Oh, finally! Almost there. Uh, okay, yep, Zot yep, it is Zotek. Yep, it's the Zotek Gaming GeForce RDX 360. Yep, this is the stuff that I ordered. Oh, damn it. Still stuck in. I think I can just... Alright. Yeah, okay. You have to go. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen. I present to you... Oh, it's the other way now. <laughs> Is it like this? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. I present to you... Finally. After months of me saving up. I finally got my hands on the Zotac Gaming Twin Edge GeForce RDX 3060. Ooh, look at that baby. Like why not freaking me? So alright, let, let, let me let me open this. Let, let me just open this. Let me just throw this stuff on the side and open this thing up. So it says why we're here. Um warranty is three plus two years. Huh, interesting. So I'll just let me just open this up. Um Ice Storm 2.0, free spy storm, yada yada yada. Uh let's just let's just open this bit. I believe this is the um, this is probably the thank you for purchase and we can't wait to see set up text natural but we're Zotech share, Zotech gaming share, yada yada yada, extended warranty. What? What is this by the way? Hold on. Oh it's just it's just some guidelines and Yeah, it's it's just basically a book of guidelines for me. So I believe this I believe this is the uh, the GPU. Let me just open this thing up. Ooh. Let me just let me just open this thing right up. And whoa, this this is this is heavy. This is I could you know this is it's it's kinda heavy like holy crap. Uh, this is it. The Zotac um, GeForce RDX 3060. I kid you not. Zotac Gaming GeForce RTX. So, so as you can see right over here, yeah, it's it's an 8 pin as well. And here's the uh, here's how it looks like. Here's the front. View. Here's a bit. This the front view. And this I bit is the the back view is. Uh, Okay, so I believe it's a uh, one HDMI port and three display port. So I'm gonna plug this into my uh, my current uh, my current rig.
week. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So, as you can see, this is my old GPU over here. It's a, I have already unblocked everything. So, right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this um, this old Radeon RX 570 because this um, GPU has served me so well. But ever, but ever since um, last year March, he has been giving me um, problems. I tried changing the the HDMI, but unfortunately, to no avail. Where my my screen has a tendency to flicker once in a blue moon. So I was like, you know what? I might as well. And to top it off, right nowadays there's a lot of games where the minimum VRAM required is 8 GB. So what I'm gonna do is, considering the fact that the RD, the the GeForce RDX 3060, which is right over here, if, if, if you guys can see, so I'm gonna I'm gonna plug this beast right over here into my GPU and remove this um, RX 5 which is only um, a 4 GB VRAM and hopefully everything's in working order so let's jump right into it so after some time it took me like about, about 15 to 20 minutes I managed to figure out how to remove the GPU because I'll be very frank this is my very first time removing and or should I say this is my very first time changing a graphics card this is the old graphics card it's right over here I'll let have a good look of it later on so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be plugging this new um, GPU into this uh, into my rig. So hopefully nothing goes wrong. So let's continue on from my laptop. So I managed to plug in the the RTX 3060 into this, and then I'll just uh, slot this in right over here. And then what's left is I'm just gonna s screw this right back in into the uh, all these spare parts into the. Uh, into the CPU okay so I've screwed everything back up so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug in into this uh, plug this back in on, onto my station and see hopefully um, it run everything is in, is in running order so let's do this all right I've already plugged in my rigs and I already plugged in the minimum cables required so all right this is my monitor right over here so let's hopefully nothing goes wrong okay the uh... oh thank goodness I might have to well, at least the graphics are a little bit weird, but nothing. That ah, oh, thank goodness. Although the the screens are a little bit weird, but nothing I can't fix. So hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Let me let me download the um. Let me download the GP the the GPU first. So as you can see, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060, uh, finish resolution, Acer, 1080p, nice, NH. There you go, I have successfully installed the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. Nice. Yep, there you have it. And yes, 
dedicated GPU memory is 12 GB. Nice. So yeah, um, shout out to Thunder Max Technology for providing this um, the Zotac NVIDIA RTX 3060 12 GB, which I've been wanting ever since my playthrough of Resident Evil 4. So I think the next thing that I'll be doing is I'll be I'll be doing some, doing some test runs some from here on out, and most likely sometime later in the future I might be doing a, another walkthrough or playthrough of Resident Evil 4 remake sometime later in the future. We'll see how things goes. Anyway, um, if you guys want to check out um, the other stuff, I think you, I'll, the link I will put the link in the description below. So if you guys want to check out the other stuff, so the link will be in the description below. And that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully, I will get to play more more games that require high VRAM, such as the likes of Alan Wake 2, Tekken 8, Armored Core 6. We'll we'll see how. We'll see how this goes from here on out. I'm just, I'm just happy that I'm, after, what like almost a year of um, dealing with this old school, um, this AMD. This is so. In case you're wondering, this is the old um, ASUS um, AMD um, Radeon RX 570. Been using this for about three years, but uh, it's lived this usefulness. So it's about time I jump. It's about. I'm just glad I managed to um, change the NVIDIA RTX 3060 without any hiccups because I've been hearing stuff. Quite a number of people they try to change the graphic cards by themselves. Stuff happens. But I'm just, I'm just glad um, everything went smooth. So, once again, hopefully I will provide the best um, game qual uh, quality possible. So, we'll see how things goes. Anyway. My name is AJ and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.